When are we ever going to get rid of this R value discussion? Because it's only measuring one type of heat loss. Why make things so much about conductivity and K value? When are we ever going to get a holistic approach about how the insulation is performing and get codes written for total cycling of how the insulation is working? Like not just this one chiseled in stone number that the consumer thinks they need to hit. You know, it's quite interesting. I lived in uh, upstate New York for many years. I didn't understand insulation. I was in a modern house by the standards at the time. We're talking about 2003, 2004. This is a well insulated house, all fiberglass, don't get me wrong. But I came up with a concept of wind chill against the home. If it was wet and windy, the wind chill factor that you physically felt, you could literally feel the house. When you come from Africa and you're that sensitive to cold as I am, which is why I live in Texas now, it's like I'd rather cool it down than heat it up. You know, I would feel the difference. I would feel that one or two degrees difference. There's more to this than meets the eye. It's not just a matter of of a hot plate and thermal conductivity. It's the entire environment. It's sometimes colder when it's right on the freezing mark and it's windy and it's damp than when it's 10 degrees below freezing and it's dry. It's not just perceived. And then when you've got this massive cold coming in through an attic, there's a point where the weight of the cold overcomes the insulation and then you get penetration taking place.